we have already seen how the vertical alignments works in our grid uh, layout system now we will understand the, about coal span or column span now this is our basic window in this we will add the uh, components let us add a label first so tk dot label my window now we will add some text to it text is equal to let us say first now we will add the grid to it grid equal to grid sorry row equal to 1 then column equal to 1 so both this will add the first one let us copy this paste it to add the second one we will change this to L2 and this text will change to second and here also we will make it L2 and the grid will just by the side of it so we will go to column 2. Now let us come and we will use a third one also in the third one we will say 3. Now, the text will stretch a bit. So, we will say first and second with details. We want that, that uh, column to be stretched. So, L3 uh, row 1, row 2 will go it to the next one and we, as usual we have put it column 1. Now, with details let us just see the how it appears. You can see the first one, this is the second and because the third uh, label what it has done, it has stretched it and it has gone stretched the and because of that the uh, first label cell width also has increased. Now, we want that this should span in such a way that first and second it should be in, uh, in aligned with the second row. So, this should stretch to the second column also. Let us try that. So, we will just add a column span. Column span by default this value is 1, we are giving it 2, span it to up to 2 with we will say span equal to 2. So, this text also will write it. So, it is for our understanding. You can see now this is now this and has started from here and extended up to two columns, column spans. So, this first and second are it has covered both two column spans of row 1. So, this is how column span is used. Next, we will go to row span. Copied the same code and pasted it here. We will slightly change our uh, layout. So, here we are going for uh, L1 first, row 1. The second also we will say second, but this will be at our row 2 and column 1. Third one will say that this is third. I will remove all other stuff from here, the text part and we will say this is uh, row 3 and column 1 and this call span, column span we are removing. Now, to this we will add one, uh, say one another text entry box t1 equal to tk dot text in our parent window. So, my w. Now, we here we will give height is equal to 4. So, 4 rows it will span actually. Now, let us add it to our grid. Grid is say row, we will put it in row 1, row sorry row equal to 1 and column is equal to 2. Now, let us run there and see how it looks. You can see that first, second, third, but see check this uh, this one. It has uh, occupied because the, it has vertically stretched the uh, first row and it has occupied the space. So, the second and third row are pushed downward. What we want is we want this to come to second and third row also and so the first, second, third combinedly will align with this particular uh, text area. Now, for that we will add a row span to this. We are telling that uh, row span. Now, we will say row span equal to 1, 2, 3. So, by default it is 1. So, we are giving the value 3. So, it occupies the first, second and third rows. So, let us run this. You can see now it is stretched up to third row. So, first, second and third row position it has taken by, but it has used one column. 